Please refer to your user manual for detailed instructions and safety guidance. Welcome to your Evoke Closed Loop Chronic Pain Therapy, the only spinal cord system that measures and adjusts to your body's response to stimulation. Our goal is to deliver a system that is easy to use, so you can move beyond your pain and get back to doing what you love in life. This video is a short guide to help you use your Evoke Pocket Console, also called the remote, which will help you control your stimulator and your therapy. Let's begin by reviewing what each button on your remote will do for you. Before we begin, remember that the remote, or EPC, should be within three feet of your stimulator. As we walk through the use of the remote, you will hear one beep every time you press any of the buttons. Before we begin to adjust your stimulation, you must first turn on your remote. Looking at the bottom, you will see the on-off button. Press the button for approximately two seconds and wait for the remote to connect to your stimulator. Now that you are connected, let's look at how you can control your therapy. The up and down arrow buttons allow you to increase or decrease your stimulation intensity. The stacked green bars on the left are called the therapy intensity indicator. As you push the buttons to change the intensity of the stimulation, the number of the green bars will go up or down depending on your adjustments. The more bars that are lit, the higher the intensity. As you lower the intensity, the lit bars will decrease. Additionally, each time you press the intensity arrow buttons, you will hear a beep. You will hear a second, longer beep when the command has been successfully sent to your stimulator. It may take several clicks for you to notice a change in the intensity either way. When you stop your stimulation, one green bar will remain lit. The level that remains lit indicates the intensity level you had when you turned your stimulator off. To turn your stimulation back on, just press the up arrow button after turning your remote on. The stimulation intensity will gradually ramp back up to the same level where it was before you turned stimulation off. If you need to stop your stimulation, go to the top middle, the large orange button next to the stop symbol, and press the button. For the stop button to work, you must first turn on your remote. Next, let's look at the triangle symbol with the exclamation on the middle right of your remote. This button is the contact clinician indicator. The symbol will light up when the system has detected a problem. If you notice this, you should call your Saluda representative or contact your clinician for the assessment. This icon will not light up if the remote is off. When your device was set up, you may have been given more than one program to use. In order to change from one program to the next, press the Change Program button in the lower middle of the programmer. Press it again to scroll through your available programs. When a new program has been selected, stimulation will be turned off. Use the up arrow button to restart and adjust stimulation to the desired level on the new program. Next, let's look at the icon on the upper right of the remote. This icon is called the Stimulator Battery Level Indicator. It lets you know how much charge is left in your stimulator. If it is showing three green bars, it is letting you know that you have somewhere between three quarters and a full charge. An orange bar will indicate that you should charge your stimulator. The last symbol we will look at is the low battery indicator for the remote itself. The icon is located on the bottom right of your remote. This will tell you the battery level of your remote. This symbol will be lit orange when you need to change the batteries in your remote. If the low battery indicator for your remote is lit, simply push the latch on the lower part of the back of the remote to remove the cover. Remove the old AAA batteries and replace them with new AAA alkaline batteries making sure that they are in the correct position. You should not use rechargeable or non-alkaline batteries in your remote. Replace the back cover and make sure it clicks in place. Turn the remote back on to make sure that the low battery indicator is no longer lit. 
If you want to turn your stimulation off but cannot find your remote, you can use the magnet that you received in the same box as your remote. Simply place the magnet over the area of your body where your device is implanted. Keep the magnet over the device for two to three seconds until you feel the stimulation stop. To restart your stimulation, simply turn your remote on and push the Increase Therapy button on your remote. Do not hold the magnet over your device for more than 10 seconds. This will cause your device to shut down and you won't be able to control it with your remote. If you happen to turn off your device with the magnet, you can restart it by beginning the charging process. Once you start charging your device, you will be able to control your stimulation with the remote. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please refer to your Evoke SCS system user manual that was included in the box with your remote.